Welcome back. And if you're just joining us, you can click on this link to view an introduction to this video series on mission trips. Yesterday I started talking about serving by ministering to your family. And today I want to move you just a little further along the path by encouraging you to minister to your neighbors. I'm intrigued by people who want to serve strangers around the world, yet won't lift a finger to help a neighbor in need. God has already given you numerous mission trip opportunities. They've just come in the form of reaching out and loving your neighbors. If you're willing to travel thousands of miles to serve, but you're not willing to walk a few feet, you really don't have any business going on a mission trip. I understand many people are becoming more and more private, erecting taller fences, moving houses farther apart, and so on. The real concern is not necessarily measuring your actions or counting your good deeds as much as it is knowing your heart. Matthew 25, 40 says, Truly I say to you, as much as you've done to the least of these, my brothers, you have done for me. Do you understand what that means? It means you don't have to go around the world to serve. There are people and projects in your community that you can get involved with. Missions isn't something Christians do. It's who we are. So start looking for ways to serve and minister to those that God has already sovereignly placed within your reach. And if serving your community or helping your neighbors is beneath you, you might not be called to go on a mission trip. However, I encourage you to get involved in your community and to put into the actions the words of Jesus as recorded in Acts 20.35, It is more blessed to give than to receive.